Many people have faced mental health challenges in the last few years since COVID, and demand is high for programs that provide help. That's why fundraising is more important than ever for nonprofits like the Canadian Mental Health Association. Its annual Ride Don't Hide fundraiser is coming up on June 4th, and as Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People, it's trying to raise money and awareness. Neil Patterson is an avid cyclist. I've been on a bicycle since I was four and really commuted on a bicycle all my life and I've done some long rides. For the Oak Bay optometrist who has bipolar disorder, being on a bike is his zen place. You have to concentrate because there's cars and there's this and there's that. So you, you're out of your head for that, for the time when you're cycling and it's really great for mental health. Niels had several fairly significant depressions as well as manic episodes and it was when he was coming out of a long three to four year depression that a friend suggested he take part in Ride Don't Hide, an annual fundraiser for the Canadian Mental Health Association. Cycling in general is so therapeutic. It's so good combining that with raising awareness and raising funds for the Canadian Mental Health Association was just a natural. A lot of the programs that are delivered here in Victoria are not funded, so we have to kind of source that ourselves. And Ride Don't Hide is our biggest fundraiser. This year's ride in Greater Victoria, which is at Windsor Park on June 4th or can be done virtually, is hoping to raise $150,000. The ride is really important because it is uh, in part an awareness event for mental health. And it's a great event for folks to share their stories and realize that, you know, they're not the only person out there that may be struggling with their mental health. We all know somebody with mental illness and uh, the more we can do to break down the stigma around it, the better. Before the COVID pandemic, it was estimated one in five Canadians would experience a mental health struggle before the age of 40, a number that's now believed to be much higher. A lot of our branches reported a significant increase in usage. So a lot of our programs got flooded. Uh, programs that never had wait lists before now have like a three month long wait list. And that is what we're seeing today is a lot of our programs have a quite a long wait list, which is not ideal. For Neil, the depressions are so debilitating he can't get out of bed and life goes on hold. The waves are coming in. See the wave coming. Some days you're riding the wave and some days you're getting crushed. The wave's always coming though and you do not control it. That's why he's sharing his story to reduce the stigma and encourage people to reach out for help. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.